Hello, my name is Dr. Luis Castro, and I am a practicing surgeon at Sequoia Hospital in the San Francisco Bay Area. I consider myself expert in adult aortic and mitral valve operations. You may have a heart valve problem that is compromising your health and will require an operation in the future. If the valve cannot be repaired, you need to have a basic understanding of the valve replacement options that are available to you before your operation. Do not let the heart surgeon decide for you. In adults, these are personal choices that are individually unique and that will affect your quality and lifestyle after surgery, hopefully for many years to come. Let's talk about what's available to you. There are three basic types of choices. The first, which does not pertain to most of you, is a human valve or so-called homograft. This is an actual human valve that has been donated by individuals after they've died and prepared in such a way as to preserve the aortic valve within its housing or aortic root. In my practice, this type of valve choice involves a more technically complicated operation and is used almost exclusively in the setting of a serious valve infection or endocarditis. The typical lifespan of a homograft is about 10 to 20 years. The second choice you have is a mechanical valve, the most common, a bileaflet valve that is used to replace both the aortic or mitral valve. It is made of a pyrolytic carbon. It has a tremendous track record over many years and is probably the most durable or lasting replacement option we have as surgeons available to you. The majority of adult patients with this type of valve will never require another operation again. It seems like the perfect valve for everyone, right? One major drawback you must remain on a daily blood thinner, Coumadin or Warfarin for the rest of your life or blood may clot along the hinges of this valve causing it to malfunction, not open or close correctly, or clot formed on the valve may embolize or be released into the bloodstream resulting in the possibility of a cerebral stroke. Is there a risk to taking Coumadin? Yes, there is. We believe that risk of major hemorrhage from being on a daily blood thinner carries a 1-2% to risk per year of having a major bleeding event. Suppose you plan to live another 20-40 to 40 years following your valve surgery on daily Coumadin or blood thinner. Your risk for having a major bleeding event of some sort is at least 20% during that time period. You will also have to make some adjustments in your lifestyle to minimize injury to yourself in order to reduce bleeding complications associated with Coumadin. The third choice to consider if your valve cannot be repaired is the tissue or bioprosthetic valve. There's two most common types, both with fairly similar profiles, both with very good track records over many years, are the porcine or pig valve, and the bovine or pericardial or cow valve. The most common advantage of these valves is that a blood thinner such as Coumadin is not necessary long term. A baby aspirin is good enough as these valves do not naturally clot. The major drawback for tissue valves is their limited durability or shorter lifespan of the valve. Like the homograft or human valve, most patients can expect between 10 and 20 years before these valves wear out and require a second operation to replace the old valve. The risk of bleeding is gone, but it is replaced, unfortunately, by the risk of having to undergo another operation. In the hands of my team, that risk of reoperation is very low and is no greater than the risk of the first operation. Given these choices, if you are older than 65, the decision is much easier. Stay away from a blood thinner if possible. The tissue valve is probably going to outlive you. If you come back when you're 80 or 85, first we celebrate that you're still alive. Then we reconsider options available at that time in the future. If you are young in your 30s, 40s, or 50s, 
the decision is much more difficult than is uniquely personal. If you cannot bear the thought of undergoing a second operation in your lifetime, then a mechanical valve with the lifetime risk of being on Coumadin is probably the best choice. On the other hand, I've had many young patients who choose not to alter their lifestyles. They enjoy skiing, mountain biking, and other activities that give tremendous quality to their lives, but pose the potential for injury and bleeding. In that case, a tissue or bioprosthetic valve may be the right choice, knowing, of course, that they will probably be back for a second operation. I recently operated on a delightful 70-year-old woman who unfortunately had rheumatic disease involving her mitral valve at a very young age. She underwent an attempted mitral valve repair as a young adult, eventually undergoing a replacement operation for her mitral valve with a porcine tissue valve that lasted 22 years. This was re-replaced with a second tissue valve that lasted another 10 years. I met her in the hospital with an acute failure of this tissue valve, and she underwent a fourth-time operation with the latest and greatest bioprosthetic valve that I hope will give her another 10 to 20 years of quality in her life. Here's the bottom line. We do not have the perfect valve replacement prosthesis in this day and age. Think about your choices well before your planned operation. Find centers that can consistently repair valves that can be repaired, and most of all, ask questions. My name is Dr. Luis Castro. I hope this information has been helpful to you. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions related to this topic or any related to heart surgery. Thank you very much.